hello guys welcome back to another video uh so there have been some major updates to the game and we are going to review the updates and everything like that so some weapons did get some buffs and there have been multiple changes to like the game in general first we're going to look at woodland staff so woodland stuff is a tester only weapon, so if you have the tester rank in moving region, then you can have this weapon. It's not really that good, because it's for testers only, it's just meant to be like a just special weapon, and to show that you're a legitimate tester. So let's just test it. So Earth Crater was the old ability, well, it's main attack, but now it's an ability. To have an attack. Its ability now is just throwing a earth cube and stuff. Yeah, you could just throw like a dirt ball to these guys. It does, I'm pretty sure it does 100 damage. But it's a little bit buggy. It doesn't do damage all the time. So I think you have to get a little bit far. It knocks back enemies like that. And it does 100 damage, so it isn't, it isn't like the best thing you can imagine. And the cube will go forward to where you're facing. And it pushes enemies back. Earth Crater has a shorter cooldown. Well, it doesn't look like it. It's kind of the thing, it's actually 25 seconds. But uh, it shows 36 seconds. I don't know why it's just like that. So yeah, Earth Crater... Woodland staff damage is also doubled for bosses, actually, which is also really cool. Next one, if you're towering Inferno Sword, uh, a kind of forgotten weapon. Well, only a little bit of people use it. I remember it was added to the elevation after Alpha got updated. Uh, this got added. It was a pretty good weapon, actually. Um, yeah, I've oh, done it. Tarring Inferno Sword. Uh, was one of the um, weapons to get voted to get an ability, and it was the winner. It was the ability vote. Uh, um, that's the second one. The first one was for black. The first one, black steel katana, actually won that for this. For but for the second one, uh, Tarnia Furnace Sword won this. Won this one. Yeah. First thing you might notice is that the fireballs are lower now. Uh, it's been buffed so it can do more damage now. It does double the damage now, so it the fire used to do five damage, but now it does ten damage. So it does double damage now, and probably like I think triple or quadruple the damage because the or the fire orbs are lower. So you might see here blast shield. It isn't so this is very useless if you're soloing, but if you're with the team, it's pretty useful. Um. Anything within that red circle radius will get a 6 second shield. So it's like Chaos Blade Fire Shield, but it's for other players. But you don't get the shield, other players do. So you're pretty much like a support person. If you're grinding with friends in a VIP server, you could equip Target Furnace Sword and use Blast Shield. And give your friends a shield for 6 seconds. Which is pretty cool. I haven't seen how what the shield looks like. I'm pretty sure it's like a red or orange color, like uh, like fire shield, like that, like this, but darker. Pretty sure it's like that. So yeah, as you can see, tiny inferno sort of absolutely shreds. So and I'm pretty sure the price of this weapon will be changed soon, which I'm hoping for. This is not worth eighteen thousand. Yeah. I really like this weapon now. It's probably one of my favorites, actually. You know, fire weapons are really popular, and it's really obvious, obviously why. Uh, Chaos Blade is a fire weapon. And, yeah. I don't know why. I don't know why everyone likes fire weapons, like Fire AK, Fire Gel, or Chaos Blade. I think everyone likes fire weapons, but that's... We're going to have to test both of the new weapons I have just mentioned. And we are going to test them on bosses now. So let's just take a look and see how good are these weapons. We're going to test Woodland Staff first and then turn it for now. I'm going to place a turret so uh, so minions don't really bother me too much. 
for less circuit breakers exist. So let's test one on staff. Oh, I forgot. Earth, Earth Creator doesn't do too much damage. But, uh, yeah. As I said, double the damage, you'll, it can insta kill any boss minion. Which is very convenient, I guess. But uh, other than that, yeah. It also pushes back, it also um, knocks back, and it does some knockback to bosses, but uh, not too much. It's not to the point where it's extremely useful. But now we have Targ Infernosaur. Let's test this bad boy out. And we can instantly see it does a ton of damage. The buffs have made this weapon very good. And although it's definitely not better than Chaos Blade because the of the stun, the burn damage. The burn damage did get buffed and it's much more faster. So the Chaos Cluster does 1000 damage and yeah. But Tarring Inferno Sword has higher damage. Doesn't stun, but it definitely does higher damage. <laughs> yeah. And I have drained League a ton with just this 18,000. It's like an Azerpios run case. Cheap, but it's extremely overpowered. Yeah. That is really cool. Just gonna reset myself now. And we're gonna look at the other changes. Alright, so first thing you might notice, if you look in the left bottom, for the levels section, which is the blue bar, um, now XP is multiplied by 100, so if you're level 1, you need to gain 100 XP instead of 10 XP. Uh, I have no idea why this change was made, it makes it really inconvenient for high level players to actually grind now, because you gotta get so much XP, but uh, it's fine. It's got like field of battle that that one RPG gave. The higher you go, you need like millions of XP just to level up. Uh, yeah, it's pretty cool, I guess. But uh, yeah, you need lots of XP to level up. There's also Christmas decorations, Christmas map. Uh, yeah, that's pretty cool, but that's not the point. There are trophies now. Uh, these are not trophies for like the highest level player. These are your personal trophies, and they're actually tier trophies. So there's tiers in the game now. There's no uh, prizes for the higher tier you are, but there are trophies that you can brag about. So I'll put up, so if I can. I'll uh, put up the list of all the tiers on the screen. Hopefully I can edit it there. And yeah, so. We have kills, love, win, uh, I mean, kills, wins, levels, and randomizer wins. Uh, if you don't know what randomizer wins are, you can, in settings, uh, there is a setting called randomized loadout. If you kill a boss with a randomized loadout, you gain one randomized win. It's very hard because, well, it's random. You can get really garbage weapons or really OP weapons. Uh, levels, uh, yeah. Much harder now. It's, I'm lucky I grinded it a lot before the update. You have an Emerald Trophy. Uh, the highest tier right now is Ruby. The Ruby tier. Uh, you can go check Stats Boy. Like this guy right here. And you can check how much stuff you need before upgrading to the next tier. So Zircon tier is the lowest tier. I'm just going to call Bronze tier, right? Uh, they were ju they're just called these weird exotic names because... Uh, that's not trying to make it, the names more unique, I guess. So yeah, um, it's going to be a nightmare if you're in my situation. I need f almost 4 million kills to get to the ruby tier. And 643 levels. So I need to be at level 2000, and I'm pretty sure I need, I need to have uh, 5 million kills and level 2000. And that's going to be a nightmare considering the new level update. And the Moonstone Trophy, which is the second trophy, or I'm just going to call it Silver, 253 wins. 253. That is unbelievable. Like, insane. 253. That is a lot, you know. Like, I don't know why. Why would you do this? But Randomizer Wins is kind of the easiest one. 
but uh, it depends on your skill and luck, really. So yeah, that is just general update. Uh, some weapon descriptions have been updated, like Tiring Inferno Sword. Uh, actually, uh, oh yeah, Ice Dagger. Yeah. Some other weapons did get updated, buffed, and nerfed, but these are kind of unnecess unnecessary. Uh, I included this update because uh, it was kind of it was a little bit game changing for the more higher level players than the lower level players. It's just a game changing for the lower level players, of course, because they have to grind more now. So they have to kill more noobs to, to level up now, which isn't too convenient. But I think it's a pretty decent update, actually. I think it's a pretty cool update, actually. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Uh, yeah, see you in the next